Subliminal messages, one of the cornerstones of conspiracy theory videos. Of course, Watchtower, being a multi-million dollar corporation with 8 million people under their control, has been accused of including subliminal messages in their literature. But I've found that most of these accusations are a bit silly, like this one, where if you mirror the image of this tract, you get a devil looking character. <laughs> Was this intentional? Probably not. Is it fun to look at? Most definitely. But in September 2022 edition of JW Broadcasting, we are treated to a song which showcases what is, in my opinion, the very first clear instance of subliminal messaging that we see by Watchtower. Today we'll analyze the lyrics and visuals of this song to dive deep into the mind of this cult and learn how they use music to further their propaganda. I can't play the song complete because of copyright reasons, but I will be commenting and replaying on the relevant sections. And let's see if you can catch the recurring image hidden in the background. And you know what to do with every XJW video? Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for being here with me. Let's begin. Do things Jehovah's way, and the end result will be nothing but good. With success like that, why would we try any other way? Or, as this month's music video asks, to whom could I go away? Enjoy this faith-strengthening original song. I have listened to Jesus in these troublesome days. He lights up my path as I hear and obey. He is the fine shepherd and he shows me the way. He guides every step, never leads me astray. Why should I ever listen to voices in Did you catch the hidden symbol? A lion. This design is taken straight from a Watchtower article from a few years ago, talking about the dangers of pornography. The lion represents Satan, and in this video, it's a symbol of danger and temptation. The first so-called temptation this young man faces is high school level biology class? <laughs> They're most likely talking about evolution, and Watchtower has done this multiple times. They encourage young Jehovah's Witnesses to be ready to defend their faith, of course without being asked to, by defending creationism, which is a subject that's not even in the school curriculum. Schools, at least in America, are not allowed to teach creationism because it's not a scientific subject. It's a matter of faith. If you believe that God created everything, that's perfectly fine. But schools are obligated to teach only scientific subjects that have been proven and that have the backing of the scientific community. Look at the way he proudly stands up, thinking that he knows more than his biology teacher who has studied for years. Evolutionary biology is a mandatory subject in the curriculum. I mean, the teacher is simply doing his job. Sit back down, you asshole. And the song paints the teacher as being a uh, boys in opposition. Why should I ever listen to voices in opposition? The voice of a stranger, right? But this doesn't make any sense. A teacher teaching evolution is not trying to destroy 
this young man's faith. He's not attacking his belief system. If you feel attacked because evolution uh, contradicts your beliefs, that's on you. But this teacher is only doing his job. He is not a voice in opposition to you. And look at how he doesn't even accept the letter that sweet girl made for him. Uh, you won't even open it? Why is a love letter associated with the devil? Oh, that's right. Because she is a worldly girl who will very soon become Armageddon fodder. So what's the point in seeing what she has to say, right? What a tremendous asshole. In case you don't know, Jehovah's Witnesses are not allowed to date people outside of their religion. So rejecting the love letter of an outsider is considered basically like an act of loyalty to God. After rejecting a temptation from Satan herself, our buddy goes out to indoctrinate someone who appears to be a better in a war. This is exactly how Anthony Morris, a member of the governing body, got roped into this religion. He was, I believe, a, a medic in the war of Vietnam and then after he came back from the war, he was preached to and he converted to the Jehovah's Witness religion after being in such a vulnerable state. So it sure is nice, right, to push people into a cult after they have witnessed the most horrific atrocities in the jungles of Vietnam. I will never listen to voices in opposition. Why would I ever stray from the path I'm on today? And there's that stupid lion again. <laughs> you might be wondering, what even is the temptation here? What are the co-workers doing wrong? They're not celebrating a holiday or getting absolutely smashed. They're just celebrating an award with a glass of champagne. Oh wait, the worldly people. <laughs> if you're not preaching to them, they're not worthy of your time, right? I mean, what's the point? I mean, they're just gonna be vulture food for Armageddon, right? From the Bible he carries, we know this party pooper is on a rush to get to the Kingdom Hall. Watchtower demands his undivided attention. I mean, this guy doesn't even realize how unattractive his religion looks after treating his co-workers so coldly. Who's gonna want to join your religion after seeing this? Jesus dined with tax collectors and prostitutes, right? But you can't even spare 10 minutes to celebrate a big achievement with your work buddies? Where could I turn in times of trouble to Here, our young protagonist is faced with a fourth temptation. Now he's getting older, you know, he has more health problems, and he is faced with the dilemma. Is he going to accept a blood transfusion? Hmm, maybe he'll take his time to analyze his options and see what treatment is better for him, assess the risks and, you know, the consequences. Oh wait, no, none of this happens because this is a cult we're talking about, so he's not allowed to take blood and he's actually expected to die in case he needs an emergency transfusion. That's why he is rejecting the doctors, you know, what they're telling him about blood. He doesn't want any blood because apparently God will get mad if he takes a blood transfusion and survives, right? What God wants apparently is for his people to martyr themselves, to commit suicide over a rule made by eight dudes in New York. <laughs> it's awful propaganda it's horrific really it, it's really really sickening actually that this man who has dedicated his life to watchtower is still expected to put his life on the line 
when faced with such a dilemma. He can't even make his own personal choice. He can't even be allowed to follow his conscience. He needs to follow Watchtower's direction, right? Because if he follows Watchtower's direction, he's following Jesus Christ himself. And again, just like the biology teacher, why are these doctors considered a voice of opposition? They're just trying to save his life. They're not attacking his belief system. They're not encouraging him to abandon his faith. They're just doing the best they can to save this old man's life. And he's so ungrateful. You can see it in his expression. It's horrific. Watchtower wants us to think that anyone outside of their bubble is an enemy is constantly trying to tempt us into doing wrong but that's not the case most people don't care they don't give a shit if you're loyal to watchtower or not they just want the best for you this biology teacher wants the best for his students that's why he's teaching the curriculum this young sweet girl is attracted to this young man and wants to show how she feels, she's not evil. These co-workers just wanted to share a glass of champagne with you to celebrate an accomplishment which probably took you a lot of work to, to reach. And these doctors are only looking out for you. They are not puppets of Satan. They're not voices in opposition. I mean, guys, this is how cults operate. They create a black versus white, us versus them mentality to keep their members in check and make them terrified of the outside world. To whom could I go away? Never, never, ever will I Certainly, that's how we all feel. Never do we want to stray from the great shepherd Jesus Christ as he leads us through the end of this trouble system of things. May this song encourage us to stick close to Jehovah's organization no matter what befalls us. And that right there is the clear purpose of this music video. It's not to follow Jesus or to show love to our neighbors. It's all to demand loyalty to the Watchtower organization. Jesus was mentioned several times in the song, even praised as the savior, something that doesn't happen very often in this religion, but he is only mentioned to give authority to the governing body. Because if you believe that Jesus himself appointed the faithful slave to speak on his behalf, then obeying this clown becomes the only way to gain everlasting life. It's perfect. The line, to whom should I go away? is also repeated over and over. The indoctrinated Jehovah's Witness can't fathom leaving the organization, since there is no better religion out there they could run to. But the thing Watchtower doesn't want them to consider is that there's another option not running to anyone at all. A slave that escapes his master will not wonder to himself, hmm, to which owner should I run to now? You don't have to belong to any organization or religion to be happy. Religion only survives once it convinces you that you can't be happy without it. That simply is not true. So yeah, it's just a short music video shock full of propaganda is one of the most grotesque things watchtower has put out because it's it just uses again the character of jesus to encourage loyalty to the governing body and i tell you again i'm not a christian i don't believe in jesus christ as my savior but it i still find it very grotesque very disgusting how watchtower uses this very famous you know the central figure of christianity too manipulate people into their cult. It's frankly awful. <laughs> and as I told you, they included some subliminal messaging. There's no conspiracy behind this. This was very, very intentional, but it did not go unnoticed. Definitely not by me. 
So again, thanks for joining us in this short analysis. Sorry if I ranted a little too much, but there was so much wrong with this music video. We hope to see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment your opinion on this music video if it didn't make you blow your brains out. And if you appreciate my, my anti-ministry, as I call it, and you want to leave a donation, you can do so by Cash App. There's a link in the description below if you want to do that. If not, then your follow and your like is much more than enough. Again, thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you next time.